Good afternoon all, CamelbackTrading.org coming to you this Wednesday afternoon, March 9th. We are looking at Window Traders Market Profile, SPY, IWM, Triple Qs, and basically what we got today, as you can see from these P-shapes, is some tremendous short covering, right? The market's gotten too short. What we did accomplish today is we came back into balance in all three of our time frames, right? We took out yesterday's high in the SPY and the ES, Triple Qs took out one two two highs almost got the third from the fourth and uh, I'm sorry Russell that is I always get those mixed up and triple Q's also took out yesterday's high and started getting into their large sell tail from the seventh we got into our sell tail but it is still still rather large um, as we still have over two dollars and thirty cents left we end eight wide I'm in five tick increments we never got nine wide or 10 wide. We got 9 wide in N, but if I put these in ones, we would only be 8 wide during regular trading hours. We do go out with an afternoon pullback low in all three of our indices, and we had a lowest accepted price today in SPY, where A opened, B just went down just a little bit, and never saw it again. What's unusual about that is usually when I have that lowest accepted price, we usually hold trend. Now, we tried to go trend to the upside a couple of times in E, in F, but they never held. We did price probe, as did Russ, uh, as did Q's. Russell has a poor high and did not price probe. Uh, I had a good day and I didn't do much after I. We nailed it pretty good what we thought this market was going to do. All morning was nothing but longs. Um, I took a long in A period, the 422 calls against that overnight pock. Basically bought the low of the day and I bought D's lows. I nailed pretty good on these lows. And I missed the long and I, but we'll get to that. So I was long against the overnight park, 422 calls. In B period, took the long above the opening when we got back down to it, 423 calls. C period, looked like we were going to take out the IB high, 425 calls. D period, against value low of the day at the time, um, 423 calls. So again, just looking for calls with the market being up, we had the indices up, we had higher value, overnight high, IB high, you name it, the buyers had it. Then the market started getting tired. No surprise, right? We traded 415 yesterday, we got up to 429.50 today. So in E period when we made new highs and we're not getting much for it, I shorted it three times with the 429 puts. That paid. G. Took longs again when we had single prints initially, 426 calls. Now, I thought the market, since we couldn't hold trend, was going to get a pullback. So in H period, I took 420. I played Innovator. Before we stopped one time framing down up, I took a 429 put. And since we didn't get much for it to the downside, Innovator paid because I got paid on it, 429s. Also did it in I, and this time in I, I held on to them. And held them right down to, held on to some of them right to eyes low. Beautiful trade. What happened after that, though, is I wanted I wanted the pullback. I was looking for the long. I tried to get in the call play. I had a bid in, didn't get it. It went away without me, and I didn't chase it. I was also looking in Q, uh, Russell at the time because Jay's low was right at around half back and value low at the time. That probably would have been a better long. But we nailed it. I was looking for the uh, flush. And then the afternoon pullback and would have gotten it. After that, nothing interested me. A, J, K, L, it just didn't interest me. M had a reversal bar. All, all M did was, and I told the room, I didn't think we were going to go take out the rest of this sell tail. This is pretty large. It was $3. I said, I think the market is a little stretched out. So once M took out L and didn't get any traction, I am not surprised at all. It reversed and took out L's low. So it was a good day overall. Tomorrow we have CPI. Destinations. Upside, 429.51, today's high. Then 431.84, that's this day's high, the 7th. Then we have 433.37, daily high. And filling that small gap at 433.80 from March 4th. And then 439.27, afternoon rally high. Amazing, there's a price vacuum up there. For the downside, now we did probe, I am going to use it for now, L's high, we'll see if it's accepted or rejected tomorrow morning, 429.08, afternoon pullback low, I's low of 426.29, B's lowest accepted price, 
423.96. Today's low of 422.82. And then there's nothing to yesterday's low of 415.12. Again, price vacuums. <clears throat> and then on the chart, so basically this was just short covering and some momentum buying. We'll see after the um, CPI comes out tomorrow. I can't wait for the excuse to see why the market was up 2.5%, 3% today. Maybe they're going to say uh, that war tensions were easing and inflation is easing. And then tomorrow when we're down $10, they'll say war fears are back and inflation rears its ugly head. That's why the news is useless. Just trade what's in front of us. And then on the chart, and I'm just going to show you the um, daily. So we finally came into balance. We took out yesterday's high. For me, it's a three-day balance. We're using uh, 4 3184 is the top of it, March 7th, and we're using yesterday's low as the bottom of it, 415.12. Um, the 20 day moving average has come down to 435.18, and pretty soon, as you can see, the 50 is steamrolling towards the 200, as they are only $3 apart. Excellent day in the trading room again. Thanks for the likes and subscribing. Come check us out at CamelbackTrading.org. Enjoy your evening, and we'll speak prior to the opening tomorrow.